Hello, kindergartners. Today, we are going to work on your square one art project. So what square one is, is a way for us to do a fundraiser for art. So we create a piece of art on a piece of paper like this that has um, the form that you can actually download in the link for your assignment I sent you. Um, and then with this piece of art, we send it to this company that can print it on really cool things like a mouse pad or a mug or even like a little flag for your garden. So all of this, the proceed comes back to our school. So now I'm going to show you how we're going to do the kindergarten project. So the best way would be for you to have some oil pastels like these. If you do not have oil pastels, that's okay. You could use crayons as well. It will work just as good. So what I'm going to do is in kindergarten, we make a fish. Now, obviously, because you're at home, you could do whatever you want for your art. But if you would like to follow us, then you do our fish like we are going to do. Depending on what color you have for your background, I am going to use a liquid watercolor that's purple. So today I'm not going to use purple for my fish. I'm going to use any other colors but purple because of that. And do not use black until the end because the black makes everything messy in the end. Okay. So let's say I decide that I'm going to do more like a goldfish. So I'm going to draw my fish, which is going to be kind of like an oval shape. And then I'm going to add my tail, which are going to be like two diagonals. I could decide to do a fancy little line like this, or you could do a straight line. That's your decision. You could add some lines into it. You could add a fin and maybe like another fin right here. And um, you can color it, whatever color you decide to color, okay? So I could decide that, let's say my fins are all going to be yellow. And see how when I color it like this, it kind of blends in a little bit. So that's kind of a cool effect. If you don't like it, then make your lines afterwards. I just kind of like it because it makes it like a little bit more dimension into it. Okay, so I am done with my fin and my tail. So now I'm going to do the body. So I could decide to do orange for the body or I could do a different color. So let's say I decide to do pink. Maybe I could do pink for my head. I'm going to leave a white spot for my eye to make sure that my eye stays white. Okay, and then maybe the body itself, I'll do orange because it is kind of a goldfish afterwards. But you can do whatever color you want to do, okay, because that's going to be your project. So if you feel like your fish needs to be like blue or red or it could be green that's your decision okay so i'm going to finish this up like this i'm going to use the red to do my scales now there's different ways of doing scales you could decide to just here i'm going to make that line right here to separate i could make my lines like this where it's like scallops like scales i could also oops, i'm going to go back over my fin maybe i could decide to do diagonal lines Whatever way you decide, that's your decision. You can also try it on a different piece of paper first. Okay, so now I like my fish the way it is. I'm gonna use the black, right? I told you the black's for the end when you're all done because it could get messy. There we go, now we can see my fish. I'm going to add some waves around, okay? But I'm gonna use white and you're gonna see why. So because this is oil pastels, I'm using watercolor. Well, the oil and the water do not like to mix. So I'm going to do all these little lines here, making little spirals everywhere. I could do some curved lines to make it look like waves. Okay, so now I'm done. I am ready to paint. I'm going to take my liquid watercolor. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It comes in a bottle like this. Now, this has a tendency to stain, so if you don't want to, don't use it. And I'm going to use my purple. And what I usually do is I just tap one time so that it doesn't drip all over the place. And I'm going to go from here, and I'm going to go around and see. And now you can see my spirals. Now you can see all of my cool curved lines I made for my water. 
Now, if you're using regular watercolors, it will do the same. So I'm gonna show you right now, okay? I'm gonna switch just to show you. So I have my regular watercolors. They're kind of dirty. I need to wash these out. Let's say I'll go in the blue this time. And look, it's gonna do the same thing, see? Because water and oil don't like to mix. Let's add some more. I'll get some purple too. And there we go, look at that. Isn't that cool? How it really makes it shine and makes it come through. It's kind of fun. It makes it kind of like magic. So you're gonna paint your whole square. Now don't touch the top, don't put anything there. We don't need anything over there. We just need it everywhere around your fish, okay? Once you are all done, you let it dry. And then if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, write your name somewhere around your fish. If um, when they print these, there's about one inch around, all the way around that may or may not be in your print when you're finished. So if let's say you get, um, you order this mug, well, part of the drawing is cut out a little bit when you get it, okay? So make sure you don't put anything on the edge. So give yourself like about one inch all the way around that you don't do anything. So that way you make sure your picture is inside and it's ready when you're ready to print it for the company. So that is it. Make sure you fill this out and you take a great picture and you send it back to them. If not, you could always drop it off at school and I will do that for you. I'll ship it with everyone else's. Have a great day, have fun, and make a good artwork.